Today I decided to make a movie talking about potions. And when I say potions, I'm talking about um, the new Dissidia potions that came out for Final Fantasy. Um, I'm going to do taste tests today. I remember tasting the, uh, the potions that came out with the Final Fantasy XII promotion in 2006. Um, they reminded me mostly... It, it tasted like um, this drink called Konno Chikara, uh, which is sort of like a ginseng drink. And um, I think it's ginseng. I hope it's ginseng. Maybe it's ginger. I'm not sure. Anyway, um, it, it tasted like a health drink. And by health drink, it tasted it tasted like medicine. Not as bad as, say, you know, drinking Robitussin, but um, it tastes pretty bad. So I'm not sure why I, I bought more. I think it's just because I'm really dumb and I'll buy anything with um, Square Enix on it. Um, I've been a diehard Final Fantasy fan probably since uh, 1990. So, um, yeah, the franchise have got, has got me. And uh, this is just further proof as to um, I will buy anything they put their name on, and that's kind of sad. But, uh, by the way, I live in Tokyo, so that's why I'm talking about potions and stuff. You know, I didn't... I didn't actually import this, so I, I don't, if you're living outside of Japan, I don't know how readily available that stuff is. Um, if you want any of this potions, you know, in the next week or so, drop me a message. Um, I'll see what I can do. I can pick some up for you. It's about two, two US dollars per can. It's a 210 yen a can, so it's not, it's kind of expensive for a soda, but um, I assume it's a soda. So, um, I had the, uh, the, uh, there's two flavors. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. There's two flavors. Um, this first one, it comes in a white can here. Um, here we've got, uh, Sephiroth and Cloud. Do -do. And, um, this is the white can flavor, I guess. And it is called Cosmos. Bam, Cosmos flavor. Um, I guess that's what Cosmos tastes like. Um, I already, you know, I had this, my roommate brought it to me, she said, you know, I saw this and I thought of you, so I wanted it, and, uh, or I got it for you, and, um, I, I'm not a big Seven fan, so I, I went back to the grocery store, and I've got some different ones, and they, oh god, they've got so many different packagings, and it, it's two flavors, you basically, you've got a black can, and you've got a white can. As you can see, Tara's on both of these, or Tina, as she's known in uh, Japan. Um, this is the white stuff. This is same flavor, only, once again, like I said, there's a lot of packaging. You know, they're really milking the marketing here, and once again, people like me are buying it, so there's, you know, it's totally fine, because we're buying it. Um, Cosmos and Chaos. So, um, I guess we'll start with Cosmos. I already had a, a drink of this. And let's take a look at the can here. Um, we've got Tara, and she's all, she's, uh, in her Dissidia CG here. And, um, then we've got the Emperor from Final Fantasy II. Like, I, I don't know why they put, like, both of these on the same can. I, I thought it was kind of stupid, actually. Because, you know, here we've got Cloud, and then we've got Sephiroth. You know, that makes sense. They're both from the same game. Um, Nick. Okay, they're both in Dissidia now, but uh, I kind of would have liked maybe if they put Terra and then like Kefka on this side, but okay, whatever. So I'm going to open this up. Okay. And I got a glass so you guys can see what color it is. It's clear. Okay, clear. And uh, let's go ahead. See how it tastes. It's not, okay, this is actually, it's much better than the stuff they released in 2006. Much, 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 much better. Um, it doesn't have that weird medicine taste to it. But it does have the same basic flavor. Um, I went ahead and I, I snuck a look at the ingredients list here. Uh, the, the main flavoring agent here is Royal Jelly. And uh, that's really, that's like concentrated stuff that comes out of bees' butts. But, um, yeah, uh, it, it's like uh, super honey. And um, basically people in Japan are obsessed with it. Any kind of health drink that you buy is going to have royal jelly in it. 
and it's it's supposed to give you a lot of stamina. Um, I, I, I like the taste of it, actually. Um, I guess the, the as an American, the closest thing I can tell you is that it tastes like concentrated Smarties. Um, there's another drink on the market that Coke makes here. It's called Real Gold, and this tastes a lot like Real Gold, but not as sweet. Um, my roommate had the Cosmos flavor. She said she didn't like it too much. It wasn't very sweet, um, but I, I think this is pretty sweet. I like it. It's pretty good. Um, it, it's not. It's not bad. You know, I, I wouldn't make this my drink of choice, but dude, it's potion. Come on, dude. Mm. Enjoy this. Oh, this does have caffeine in it. Okay, not bad. So, take a look at the uh, chaos flavor. I have not had this one yet. Um, I grabbed this because I'm a huge Final Fantasy VI fan, so that's why I've got Tara in both cans. Um, we've got Tara and her. Uh, I forget who this is. Somebody, somebody, somebody. Akihiko, I think. Um, illustration. I would have preferred a mono one, but that's just me being dumb. Um, and we got Kefka. Okay, now this can makes more sense. You know, you've got Kara, Kefka. That's cool. Um, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm, I remember getting uh, Final Fantasy VI when it first, first came out on the uh, Super Nintendo as Final Fantasy III, and uh, huge fan. Um, Kefka's probably my favorite character in the series. He looks totally retarded here, so I'm I'm really angry that they kind of they made his ears all pointy and like he's dude he's not from Hyrule so he shouldn't have pointy ears because if you look here, Terra does not have pointy ears, and he's you know he's human, so like I don't think he should have pointy ears, and also he has a ridiculously large mouth. Um, yeah, I know he like laughs loud and stuff, but I don't think that's called for. That's just me. I don't know. Do you guys like this illustration? Like, I, I just... I think Kefka's cool, but he doesn't look like a retard. Alright, anyway, we're gonna see what chaos tastes like. I don't know if it's any better. So, okay, we're gonna... We're in here. Okay, this is clear, too. Oh god, it smells... Oh, oh, I know the smell. It's... Okay, this... I don't know if you can see it too well. Oh, this is freak. This stuff is really freaky looking. It's got sort of a, a purple tint to it. Um, I don't know if my webcam's picking this up really well, but it kind of is glow. It's kind of glowing purple, and I'm a little afraid of it. I know that smell. Oh, it smells like um. No, oh God, I'm not sure if I want to drink this. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, it smells like grape energy jelly drink. Um, that I drink when I, like, want energy, but, you know, it's, I don't drink it because it tastes good. Let's see how this tastes. Mm. Oh, this tastes like butt. Oh, this is really bad. <laughs> um, ooh, yeah, this is probably worse than the uh, first potions they had a couple years ago. And, uh, it's kind of great. Great. Mm. It's grape, and then there's like something really stifling about it. It kind of stays in the back of your throat. I would not suggest buying the chaos flavor. Once again, black can. Black can, bad. Bad. White can. Worth a try. Black can. Bad. This tastes like carbonated Dimatap. Actually, I think Dimatap tastes better. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to go finish both of these now. You know, if I add cheap vodka to it, it actually gives it an excuse to taste bad. <laughs> 